Hey guys, I found additional SQL injection that can bypass the AWS WAF. And you might uh, be thinking to yourself that I successfully bypassed the AWS uh, WAF because I'm not an expert on configuring the AWS WAF or I might configure it in a way that will allow the attack to bypass. Well, just to make sure that uh, we are on the same page, I Google search for AWS WAF security best practices and I hit the AWS WAF security automation webpage, which apparently has a cloud formation template that use AWS best practices for security and availability. And one of its uh, protection is SQL injection, and it uh, should prevent attackers from insert malicious SQL code into the web application in effort to extract data from the database. Well, it's a, a nice uh, statement, but actually it doesn't work, and I'm going to show you it in the next two minutes. So behind the load balancer that uh, integrated with the WAF, I have uh, deployed the, a vulnerable application, the OSAP uh, Juice Shop. And I will go to the login page, and I will use the following payload in the user field. The method I will use is Boolean-based authentication that would bypass the AWS WAF by injecting a true statement in the SQL query. That SQL query will perform authentication and it will return the value true, which would log in the user as admin user. Let's try it out. The password can be anything that you want. And as you can see, I'm now logged in as admin user. So remember that the signature-based WAF is not a real security solution. The solution uh, nowadays needs to be more uh, sophisticated and needs to be based on uh, AI engines. So remember that and uh, stay safe. Thank you.